everyone, it's me, Jayski Bean. Welcome back to Dinner with an Owl. Last episode, we basically found out that this game is just a big loopy loop and a never-ending loop unless you do the right things. Now, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I figured it out. I'm gonna go ahead and load my game with the creepy, uh, pre creepy guy staring me down. But anyway, I, I, I've done some investigation while some thinking, especially while I was editing. And there's a few things that I haven't really paid much attention to, and that's the umbrella stand. Like, there's definitely... I don't need an umbrella at the moment. But in most point-and-click games, everything that's interactable like that, you it's for something. Like, especially a small game like this. Like, there's got, there's got to be something. Um, also, he gives you two knives, and... The lady said at the end of the last episode, she said that um, it's too late for him now, which implies that I need to kill him earlier in the week, like earlier since I get there. So I'm thinking what I can do is this night I can get two knives. I can put one knife in the umbrella stand. I can stab him with the other. I can turn to an owl. And then when the next guy comes in, I can grab the knife out of the umbrella stand to go ahead and stab him. So that's what I'm going to try. And I think it's going to work. We'll, we'll find out. It's my master plan. Mr. Chambers? Nice to meet you, Mr. Craig. Did you have a nice arrival? Yes, but... You look hungry. But before we eat, you have to meet the other guests. Guests? I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Miss April Merritt. April, this is my business partner, Mr. Oscar Craig. I like how they have randomly generated names. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. This is her daughter, Josie. Hello, sir! And you already met my butler, Declan, over there. Very well. Let's have dinner. Okay, so we've already done all this. Delicious. What do you think, Mr. Craig? Uh, I'm really tired. That's hardly surprising. You had an exhausting day. And we've got a lot of work to do. We'll see each other tomorrow. Just come to my office when you're ready. I will guide Mr. Craig to his room then. Alright. Should I stay here with Mr. Chambers? I'll be right back, okay? Your room is upstairs. Second door on the left. Uh, have a good night, because I'm trying to zoom zoom this. Sleep well, Mr. Craig. I, I just want to see if my plan works, honestly. All right, so. He's going to pop up in the hallway, isn't he? Uh, no. Oh, there's no one here. All right, what about the umbrella? Is there something in there? I don't need an umbrella. Though. Yep, there's nothing. There's nothing. Okay, maybe I do have to talk to him. Good morning, Mr. Craig. Just hand over the contract so we can get straight to work. Oh, yeah, we haven't even gotten to work yet. Okay, I thought we had like a full day. Maybe he was just talking about traveling later that day. Enough for today. We're making good progress here. See you later at dinner. See you there. Ugh, I guess. Ugh. Bye, Mr. A that doesn't work. That doesn't... Do, do I have to put it back? Okay, whatever. I just... Whatever, dude. Alright, so I'm gonna talk to Declan. Hey, what's up, Declan? I don't want to talk to... How may I be of service? May I ask you a personal question, Declan? Certainly, sir. Have you ever thought of quitting your job? Excuse me, do you ever think about leaving the house? It's not that easy. Mr. Chambers possesses people. Everyone who stays here longer than a few hours falls under his spell. Oh, he explains it! I will take care of it, but I need your help. What should I do? Oh my god, he explained it! I did not know that that was a thing. Can you provide me with some sort of weapon? Well, there are plenty of knives in the kitchen. That should do. Meet me tomorrow at this place, but here are my words. It may already be too late for you to survive this situation. The only way is to stop this man would be if he was killed by someone who just arrives at this house. We have to eat dinner now. Okay, so he even, ex he even hints at it that I need to pass the knife down. Mr. Craig is a tough negotiating partner, but I'm confident that we can conclude an agreement. We'll find a solution for our problem soon, after dinner. Okay. Okay, now I get to talk to Declan. Your only chance, you're our only chance, Oscar. Don't worry, it'll be over soon. I'm afraid that might already be too late. It is for Oscar. <laughs> you just gotta trust in the next guy. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the office. Hey, Mr. Chambers. We've gotta work on something different at the moment. Please come again later. Okay, see ya. See ya, dude. Don't pop up. Okay, he didn't. He popped up once, and he sang a really weird song. Here it is. Uh, can you give me one more knife? Here you go. Alright, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Thank you, Declan. B. 
be prepared to leave this house soon. Um, I sure hope so, Mr. Craig. Okay, so I'm gonna take the knife and I'm gonna put it in the umbrella stand. Aha, let me do it. I concealed a knife inside the umbrella stand. Okay, cool. Good stuff. So now I can go stab him, right? I'm gonna go stab, stab, stab a -roo. All right, Mr. Chambers. Meet your demise. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's so, it's so, oh my God. Oh, it gets all bassy. I like how it explained the spell though. That's really cool. Like, I, I mean, obviously I kind of figured since last time. Can we really leave now, mommy? I think it's already too late for him. And here we go. Turn into an owl. And Declan's gonna be like, no! <laughs> I'm so thirsty. No, not again. I'm so thirsty. Let's have dinner. Oh man, the owl. The Dayton, let's do this. Let's get out of here. I wonder what my randomly generated name is. Welcome, Mr. Doyle. Mr. Craig is already waiting for you. You will find him in his office down the hallway. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant stay, sir. Let me get the There's a knife hidden inside the umbrella stand. I think I'll take it and stab him. <laughs> oh yeah, I feel like this this has gotta be it. This has gotta be the way. Alright, I'm gonna stab you, Mr. Craig. Stab you right in the little bitty heart. Oh, yeah! I done did it. I done did it. That's gotta be it. I'm, I'm good. This is the first night. I just got here. Let's get out of here. Can we really leave now, Mommy? Yes, my dear. This creature won't detain us any longer. So what is the... We can leave this nightmare. So what is the creature? Is it actually... It never looked back. Are they all gonna bow? You managed to escape after 10 days. I love the soundtrack to this game, it's so good. So that was Dinner with an Owl, and that was the actual ending to the game, which is awesome. A game by Boring Suburban Dad. It's really good, really well done. Um, it's, oh jeez, it's so loud though. It's made with an engine that I've never seen before too, it's really cool. I can't, I, I want to see more games from this guy. Like, I'm pretty sure he has more games, the um, developer, but... I don't know, expect to see more if he comes out with more or if he already has more. I really like this. Oh, and that's the song right there. Black Cat 13 by Basset Hound. Spooky Piano is probably the one playing and Feelings of Twilight is probably the... I, I don't even remember. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that ending. It was pretty cool. I, I like how I figured that out in my own time. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you slap that like button underneath the video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.